Welcome back to Daily Dive. We've had a chance to talk about some of the top teams across the NLL, and it's only right we have one of the undefeated teams represented today, Holden Katoni, joining us from Rochester. You know, Holden, welcome to the show. Happy New Year's, and I'm so excited to have you here to get a, give us a firsthand perspective of what's going on in Rochester and all the excitement. Yeah, well, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for having us. Of course, of course. Now, 3-0 start. What a great shift from last season. Um, what's different this year? You know, what have you noticed as a, as a major change that's been helping you guys be so successful in this early start of the season? Yeah, I think um, a couple of things. I think um, I, we have a pretty young team, especially uh, going out the back door, and, and our defense really has matured quite a bit uh, over the past year. Um, I think that experience has really been uh, invaluable for, for our defense, and you can tell that they uh, seem a lot more relaxed and uh, really allowing the game to come to them a little bit more. Um, and then and rather than Hartley is, um, I think, the biggest change for us this year. He's um, played honestly incredible uh the first three games and and really made some huge saves for us that have kept us in in the game uh at critical points and um and then making the saves that uh, we expect of him so um having that that anchor on the back end has really been something uh that has really made us turn the corner uh and then again a few i think a few new pieces on on the offensive end um getting connor fields uh into the nighthawks and um, again another year of uh, maturity uh, for our offense in another year of uh, of playing together always helps. So uh, I think we're a little bit more dynamic on the offensive end of things. I love that. You talk about the way that Rylan Hartley's playing and even Connor Fields, Ryan Smith, another name that jumps out. You know, players that you guys have that you can see turning that corner. The confidence, the consistency is there. You know, how much does that improve your game individually, but as a team, just knowing you can rely on whether it's Rylan making a big save or Connor helping to get things done on the field, you know, you can rely on these pieces consistently and the talent that you guys have day in and day out. Yeah, absolutely. I think uh, confidence is a big piece of it for us and having the uh, the belief that we, we can actually pull out these wins. I think uh, especially th in the first three games, we've been in situations where uh, last year, I'm not sure we would have pulled through and, mm. and got any wins. Um, I think the, the Toronto game really sticks out to me where we, you know, took some penalties late um, and actually killed them off and, and were able to, you know, regain control of the game late uh, late in the game. And uh, I think that's something that, uh, again, the maturity and the confidence level has really uh, allowed us to turn the corner there. Um, we've had some, some difficult losses in the past uh, couple of years, and I think I can uh, attribute that a lot to our, our inexperience and, and, and um, never really being in those situations under pressure. Um, so now uh, having a little bit more experience under our belts and, you know, having been there before, um, it's really allowed us to uh, be more confident in those situations and have that belief that we can pull through and, and, and dig out some of those tough wins. Yeah, that confidence and maturity that come through the lessons of those past losses, to be able to learn from that in a way that you now, as you mentioned, have games you're winning that maybe would not have been a victory in the past, you know, and that's something that's very, very important to be able to, it's one thing to have off seasons where you don't get the results you want. It's another thing to be able to learn from them and to have now a three, no start is a direct implication. You guys have learned <laughs> to say the least, but also for yourself individually, um, you know, you are one of the, the leading point getters, fourth on the team with 12 points. You've got seven assists on the season, and you are seven assists away from the 200 mark in your career. I mean, I know it's it's more than just an individual accolade in that sense, but how does it feel to be able to be nearing a milestone um, and be so close? Yeah, it's it's definitely cool. It's not something I really keep track of um throughout my career but it's it's just means that um really fortunate to play with some really good players um and i i've had some longevity in the league i think this is my sixth year uh now in the nll which sounds a little crazy now uh but it, it's really uh pretty cool to be able to hit some of these milestones and um they're they're nice things to look back on and reflect on my career to this point 
Yes, yeah, it is. It is really remarkable. That's our job to be able to keep all those stats, and you just do your thing, and then we get to remind you that. Oh, by the way, you're seven assists away. Um, but you know, I I do love Holden. Not only are you bringing, you can even hear in your answers and what you're sharing the maturity. You've got the setup. Like you're you're a pro through and through. You've done this before. You know you're always ready to take care of business, and I can see that on and off the field. So shifting back to uh, look at the ahead. Looking at the Panther City game, you know, what is it going to take for you guys to extend this 3-0 streak to 4-0? You know, what's important for you guys to make sure that you're you're focusing in on and locking in on once you face Panther City? Yeah, I think one thing that we always talk about is our effort um, and we're, you know, really earning our wins. Um, I think um, I don't think there's anyone, especially at the beginning of the year, that would say that we have like the best team on paper uh, or that we would even like be uh, close to a playoff team. Um, so really, I think that motivates us and, um, you know, having the understanding that we just really have to gut out every win and, and uh, show up to play for a full 60 minutes. Um, and Panther City, I think, plays a very similar game to us. So uh, where they're they're really energetic and, and they really work for everything that they get. Um, so it's going to be up to us to really match, match their effort and their intensity and uh, be a lot smarter uh playing um uh, minimize our mistakes and make sure that we're uh, not giving them any opportunities to uh to take advantage of our mistakes yeah and as you mentioned just focusing on that 60 minutes is has that been the consistent response from you guys in the locker room you know one win under your belt two wins now three uh has that been the consistent kind of mindset that one game at a time focus yeah absolutely i think it's even maybe a little bit more like more focused than that, uh, looking at, you know, one shift at a time and making yeah. sure we're winning the, the next five minutes. And um, I think over the, the course of the past few years, we've had, um, we've got it off to really tough starts at the beginning of games and out, out of halftime in the, in the beginning of the third quarter. Um, so really understanding, you know, where some of our weaknesses are and uh, really trying to make that a point, point of emphasis for improvement. I like that. I like that. Five minutes at a time, just trying to win the next five and uh, looking ahead to keep, you know, focusing on it and just blocks versus overthinking things. Now, Holden, the last thing I, I want to ask you about, you know, obviously everybody would love to go through the season undefeated, but there's bigger goals than just that. You know, there's more you're trying to win. You know, what is it that's going to help this team as we get to the postseason, playoffs, finals, that's is going to allow the Rochester Nighthawks to be there. You know, what is it that you're seeing behind the scenes that maybe others aren't seeing right now that might be the difference for you guys as the season wears on to maintain the same success? Yeah, I think um, a little bit more like continuity uh, in our lineup. And, um, you know, we've had some injury issues in the past and uh, hopefully having a, a a nice healthy year uh, where we're not missing guys for long, long periods of time is always really valuable in the NLL. Um, and I think um, again, a little bit more continuity and just like getting to know how to play with each other. And uh, it's really difficult uh, having, you know, been from uh, played on established teams before and in the past, and then coming to a, a franchise that that's brand new and playing with uh, a new set of players. It, it takes some time to to get up to speed with everyone and and some years of trust and uh, knowing where where people will be in certain situations. So I think um, just trusting our process and and being at practice and being around each other uh, is really something that's going to be key for us. And then again, just the effort for sixty minutes and making sure that um, you know. We understand that we, we have to be uh, good for that whole uh, 60 minutes and we can't just have lulls in our game. Uh, those are absolute killers for us. Yeah, absolutely. Continuity, 60 minutes strong. Now, as we wrap up, Holden, I know we've talked a lot about the success of Rochester, but it is a new year. And I know I said that was your last question, but I've got one more for you. Um, everybody always says new year, new me. But what are your 2023 resolutions? What can we expect from you? What are you maybe personally looking to do this year better than the last? Yeah, I think one thing that I've taken into this year is uh, really being more of a leader on our offense, um, really trying to uh, help out some of our younger guys and bring them along, making sure that we're all on the same page uh, and, and really trying to you know be a more vocal leader and, and, and uh, continue um, that like gelling process for our offense. I think that's uh, going to be really key for us. So um, <clears throat> I think that's one point of emphasis that I have for myself in the new year. I like that. You are six years in. You're a vet now. You know, you're on the other, you're on the other side. So now, 
scared to talk about. I know it's crazy when you think about it that way, but yes, now being able to help the younger guys uh, stay focused and and continue to lead by example and be a vocal leader as well. So thank you so much for joining us, Holden. I hope that you guys have a, a, a great weekend. Uh, thank you also for taking time to share some insight as to what's going on right now in Rochester. And good luck as you're nearing that milestone and continuing to extend the, the winning streak. I'm looking forward to seeing what's next for you guys and what's next for you as well. Great. Thank you so much. Happy New Year.